This video is brought to you by cdkeyoffice.com, the best and cheapest website for buying digital games, CD keys for Windows and Office products, and gift cards on a discount. Simply make an account using your Facebook or Google account, use the code FOXY for 20% off, and activate your product and enjoy your purchase. Go to the link on top of the description and start shopping on a discount today. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream or basically the best settings for Streamlabs OBS for streaming with a super slow internet speed. I mean take a look at my upload speed, it's below 1 megabits per second which is considered very 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 low for streaming. If you want to stream comfortably you're going to need at least 1 megabits per second, I don't even have that, yet I somehow managed to stream without single stutter, freeze or lag. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that in this video right here, so I do highly I really urge you to watch this video till the end and apply these settings as I do. Also, why not hit that like button so you can help this video reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So first thing you're going to need to do is basically go to speedtest.net and actually do a speed test on your internet speed. As you can see, it will give you your ping, your download speed and your upload speed. The ping and download speed are not really relevant. We only care about the upload speed, which for me is 0.8. Zero. Keep this page open for a later use, then go ahead and download an open Streamlabs OBS. Yours might be white, mine is black, don't worry about that, yours might be a little different than mine, that's not relevant. The only relevant thing is basically to, is for you to navigate once you open Streamlabs OBS and download it and install it. Go ahead and navigate to the settings button right here and then go ahead and go to output. Make sure the advanced mode is selected in the output mode. Make sure you are in the correct streaming tab, which is right here. For the encoder, make sure, make sure this one says hardware, which is the new option right here. For me, it's NEVEC, which is basically which stands for NVIDIA encoder. If you have AMD, we might say AMD encoder. So select that one. If your GPU is terrible, basically select this option. But there's no worries with that one. For the rate control, go ahead and make sure this one says VBR. And now it will give you two options for the bitrate. The normal bitrate, which is basically the minimum bitrate, and this is the maximum bitrate. So VBR will basically keep your bitrate at, an, at this interval. So it will keep it between this number and this number. So how do you choose these numbers? You're gonna choose them depending on your upload speed. So open your calculator, take your upload speed, which for me is 0.8, Multiply that bad boy by 1000, multiply that bad boy with 1000 and like that you will have your maximum bitrate and I will type my maximum bitrate right over here. And for the minimum bitrate take your maximum bitrate and subtract basically 30% so you're gonna have to multiply this by 0.7 so you can get 70% of the number which is 560 which I'll put right over there. Keyframe interval, keep that at zero. The quality, keep that bad boy at quality or performance. Do not go anywhere above performance. Select max quality if it lags for you and performance if it doesn't. Keeping with quality is a, is a good general rule of thumb. So you can do that definitely. Do not change anything else and then go ahead and go to video. Select your base canvas resolution, which is which will basically be your monitor's native resolution. And for the output scaled resolution now, as you can see when you go to Google and type in what resolution with what bitrate, it will give you this box right over there. And as you can see, if your bitrate is in this interval of 800 and 1200 kilobits per second, you should select this uh, resolution right here. If yours is in, th in this interval, select this one and so on and so forth. And we're going to be talking about the maximum bitrate. So for me, my maximum bitrate is 800, so it definitely falls under this medium quality category. So I'm going to have to go ahead and select this resolution right here, copy this bad boy, go to OBS, then make sure to paste it in the output scaled resolution. After that, keep the downscale filter at Langzos, keep this one at common FPS values and if your bitrate is lower than 1500, which is basically 1.5 in the upload speed, do not go anywhere above 30 frames per second. After that, you can change whatever other settings that you want. It will not affect your, it, it will not basically affect your stream. These are all of the new settings that are relevant to the upload speed. So go ahead and press done. And now you can basically go live and you will be able to stream without a single stutter, freeze or lag. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I will 
absolutely make sure to answer you. Hit that subscribe button because I'm on my way to 5,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.